Welcome to Turning Points, covering both sides of the story. I'm Jake Turner. We have NFL free agency, Zion's amazing week, NFL Network's Charles Davis joins us later, and our weekly reality check on NBA royalty. But enough talk, let's get to it. The words free agents and the Packers rarely mix. Not since the years of Tom Bratz in the 1980s. The Packers have landed four new free agents, including safety Adrian Amos. Now that is my favorite. He is versatile. He hits like John Lynch and can play in the box and is a deep ball safety. According to Pro Football Focus, he is one of the best deep safeties out there. That was one of the Packers' biggest flaws. They have a good start going ahead, but what is going to happen now? Is Aaron Rodgers going to get more offensive help? Are they going to go through the draft? The season of change is now in full bloom in Green Bay. One thing fans love is when a star in the making returns back from injury. Duke forward Zion Williamson is back. Williamson returned in spades Thursday in the New York Life ACC quarterfinals versus Syracuse in an 84-72 victory. Williamson looked like he didn't miss a step going an insane 9 for 9 from the field in the first half, setting the tone by paint domination, forcing the Orangemen to live and die by the 3, otherwise that bionic arm would swat it away. Williamson was 13 for 13 and 29 points. Next up, it's a blue blood battle against North Carolina Friday night. However, when does March Madness begin? Because all eyes will be on the Blue Devils starting next week with Bionic Zion back in the lineup. The NFL Draft is one month away and experts are saying that this is not a quarterback driven draft. The exception is Oklahoma quarterback Kyler Murray. Murray has dealt with tons of media negativity. However, Charles Davis of NFL Network spoke to me earlier, and he had a different point of view on Murray. And I just think that he has to get in front of everyone and, and show that he looks the part and sounds the part of being an NFL quarterback, having that leadership, because you know as well as I do, there's been a ton of discussion points about that recently <laughs> with a big thing with Charlie Casserly saying he got a bad report. Although just a day or two ago, I read where Charlie Casserly gave him a glowing recommendation. So I don't know which way Charlie's going with this, <laughs> okay? But it certainly, it, it, you know, it certainly sounds like it's come both ways, both directions. And, you know, what my spies tell me, because I haven't had the chance to even meet Kyler Murray yet, my spies tell me he's a good kid and, and he may not be the leader that you're looking for in terms of, well, he's Mr. Ra Ra, he's Mr., you know, spit blood and the whole type of deal. People really respect him and respond to him, and you saw that last year in Oklahoma. Review for Murray's Pro Day, we're positive and going forward, teams like the Arizona Cardinals will feel optimistic about Murray with the first pick in Nashville, April 25th. March Madness is around the corner, but Duke and North Carolina had some unfinished business to handle in the ACC tournament. It did not disappoint, and Zion was back this time. To Charlotte we go for the semifinals, and Zion warming up, getting ready to take on North Carolina. These two teams have met 23 times in the ACC tournament. Let's go early in the second half. UNC down by three until Cameron Johnson on a give and go. 23 points on the night. UNC cut it to one until mid-air steal by Zion Williamson. Take off and makes the slam so good we had to take a look at it again. Duke by five. Jumps under two minutes left to go. Jordan Goldwire, what a play. Makes it 72 to 71, Duke. Under a minute left to go, here comes UNC. Kobe White loses it, but Nasir Little slams it down. 73, 72, under 37 seconds. Watch Zion Williamson inside the lane. Pivots, tries to put it up, can't, but gets his own rebound back to put Duke in the lead, 74, 73. Last chance for UNC, you would think. Cameron Johnson misses the the three Barrett is called for the foul so this is it right Barrett misses both free throws and here comes UNC last chance now White with seven seconds left to go trying to get past the Duke defense back foot three no at the horn and Duke wins 74 to 73 they will be taking on a Florida State on Saturday night to finish off the ACC tournament it's Friday, time for your weekly reality check. The Lakers have been the joke of the sports world this year. A fraudulent team that has the best basketball player in the world, LeBron James, losing five straight going into Chicago on Tuesday night, and suddenly they wake up and smoke the Bulls 123-107. However, they are celebrating like kings, high-fiving and hugging. The Bulls have only won 19 games. Someone needs to remind James that he is no longer in the Eastern Conference. It is a different beast in the West. 
but at least another losing streak has begun as they were topped by the Toronto Raptors 111 to 96 on Thursday. But James, at least you greenlit Space Jam 2 in 2021, so fingers crossed on that. That was your reality check. Thanks for watching Turning Points, where we tell both sides of the story. Tweet me at Jake Turner Sport or find more Turning Points on our YouTube account. I'm Jake Turner, and I will see you next time. <laughs>